All right, guys, we're gonna do something fun. Crypto predictions. We actually haven't done a video on this for a while. We're going to predict several key cryptos that we talk about for the next bull run. Start off with VET. They recently got Coinbase. I think 85 cents is a good high point for the next bull run. Like the last time we reached 27, right now it's at two freaking cents. So 85 cents would be over a 40X. I think if you buy now, you get that 85 cents, you'd be sitting pretty right now. I've always said 50 cents to a dollar. I think the Coinbase uh, uh, announcement does actually bring us closer to that goal. Um, because we do have a lot more liquidity now than we did before, and liquidity is key in a bull run. Could it go past a dollar? Yes, there is a chance. But I'm still going for around 85 cents, and I think that would actually make a lot of people happy. So for 80 Cardano, I do actually believe for the rest of the alts too that the secondary markets are going to resolve in crypto's favor and not the SECs. Some of the judges are getting really, really pissed off at the SEC's tactics. So I think uh, like Cardano, we're going to predict $7.35 for the next bull run. That is roughly like maybe twice, a little bit over twice what it was in the last bull run. And I think that's a very good prediction for its max. Um, QNT, $2,835. I think like 3000 is a pretty good prediction, but I'm going to go a little bit under that because I do think 3000 might actually be a pretty big resistance. Now, QNT is going to have a pretty big jump because I think it is actually going to have pretty good adoption all the way through. Um, in terms of Jasmine, I think 10, 15 cents, maybe 20 at the most. Uh, I know some of you want Jasmine to go back to $4 because you bought it $4. That's not happening. I think it was... Um, marketed as the coin of Japan, but uh, it is not the coin of Japan. It is a coin in Japan. It is not the coin of Japan. It is not the official coin of Japan. It's not their CBDC, and they're not going to use it as such, but it is legal in Japan, but I don't really see too much special about it. There's a lot of people that bought it at a really high price, and they got wrecked, and they're, they're hoping it goes up a, uh, to a really high price as well. I'm really not so sure about that. So, Jasmine for me, Roughly like, you know, 15, 20 cents is my final offer for Jasmine. In terms of like Bitcoin, because we got to do that prediction, I would say like $167,000 for Bitcoin. Yeah, a little bit more than um, 2x, somewhere between 2 and 3x the um, full amount where it actually pumped last time because... You know, generally the last pump for the max to max was only about 2.5x, but or 3x almost. But that's because it kind of caught cut caught short by the recession, and I think it would have been higher if it we didn't have to deal with the inflation. And I don't think we're gonna have to deal with the inflation next time. Ethereum, I'm going for maybe like ten thousand dollars. Remember, it reached four thousand eight hundred sixty-one last time. I don't think a 5x from right now, 5.2x from right now, is too much to ask for. Ethereum is still going to dominate smart contracts. A lot of people are still going to pile in on its DeFi ecosystem. So I think $10,000, you might want to sell at $9,800 like or something is a pretty good prediction for it. Not going to do BNB because I don't really know about this legal problem status. Um, Polygon, I think, you know, around $6, maybe like $7. I would say like six fifty dollars or so. I do think it's going to have a lot more competition. I do think it's more going to more than double its all-time high. But stuff like Arbitrum, Optimism, etc. will actually eat into its market share. So uh, Polygon, I do actually believe, is going to do decent, uh, pretty well. Not quite like last time. Maybe like a 10x from here on out. I think if you want the big gains, you got to look at Optimism right now. Chainlink, I'm looking at like... $80, $90, maybe $100. That's only about twice its all-time high. A lot of DeFi is still going to depend on Chainlink's Oracle. They are going to get staking out to their masses whenever the hell they decide to do it. They better do it fast. But if they get to do that, I can see like $100 for Chainlink. Uh, Adam, I believe about $100, maybe $150 is right as well. Insane Clown Posse or Internet Computer, ICP, I think like if you're lucky, you can get to $100. Now, it did debut at something like $700, but that you're not getting back there. I think that was purely pumped up by Sam Bankman fried And in case you haven't heard, he's not doing too well right now. And he doesn't seem to be, I don't think he's going to be back anytime soon. So $100 if you are lucky. Uniswap, I think is going to be huge. I think he can go to $100. 
Um, H bar, I'm looking at about a buck. That's a little less than 2x its all time high, but that would give it, you know, like a very healthy market cap right now. And I think, like, you know, with H bar's development, um, I do think like a dollar, maybe like 150 is a good place to peg H bar. Near, I actually really like, I'm looking at maybe like a $50 near. Some people are thinking a $100 near, but I'm more looking at like a $50, $60 near. I think that's going to be very, very good. IMX, I am very bullish on. I don't, the release schedule worries me a little bit, but I would think like IMX can actually get to like $20, $30. So those are my predictions for this time around. Um, those are the ones that we actually talked about. And I do actually believe that um, you know these coins right now can get to that state. The Coinbase listing of VET has me very, very bullish about VET, as well as other cryptos, because I do believe Coinbase is sort of signaling that they believe they can win against the SEC on their secondary markets case. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.